Hi, good morning to all. In this video class, I like to explain codon optimization. We already studied what is heterologous gene expression. That is the expression of a particular gene within the foreign cell. And for heterologous gene expression, we can depend several strategies or several methods. Among these, one method or strategy for heterologous gene expression is codon optimization. And second strategy is called vector engineering. And third strategy is called post cell engineering. Like that we have different strategies for heterologous gene expression. But here we are going to study the first strategy that is codon optimization. Let us move, let us try to understand what is codon optimization. Before going to understand codon optimization, we have to study what is, we, we must study what is codon. Actually, codon is a, codon is a three consecutive nucleotide like that. Suppose A, A. This is a three consecutive nucleotide. But it is a nucleotide. It is a adjacent three nucleotide or three consecutive nucleotide present on the mRNA which can able to code for a particular amino acid or a code for a termination sequence. That is called codon. So from that word codon optimization comes. Now, let us try to understand, let us try to study codon. What is codon optimization? Codon optimization is a special technique used to improve or used to increase the transcriptional efficiency and the translational efficiency of a particular gene within the foreign cells. So, once again, it is a special technique used to improve the transcription and the translational efficiency of a particular gene present inside the foreign cell. So then that process is called codon optimization. But the name codon, the reason for giving that name codon is that in this codon optimization, scientists used codon bias, mainly scientists used the codon bias to increase translational efficiency of a foreign gene. That is why it gives codon optimization. In broad sense, it is a special technique to increase transcription and translational efficiency of a particular gene within the foreign cell. But the word codon given to that process due to the usage of codon bias to increase translational efficiency of a particular gene. So let us try to understand the details of this codon optimization. Look here, you can see different parameters of codon optimization. I will give an example. So in codon optimization, that by using codon optimizer technique, we can increase transcription and translational efficiency of a particular gene. By using codon, you by using codon bias. Suppose you imagine this is a foreign gene. Suppose this, you imagine this is a foreign gene. This is a foreign gene. This is a foreign gene. Okay. And that foreign gene, that, that foreign gene, this is a foreign gene, that foreign gene produces a mRNA, messenger RNA. That mRNA can then U, U, U codon, that code for phenyl alanine. If, if the cell, if the foreign cell containing this mRNA lack a tRNA with phenylalanine, if the cell contain less amount of phenylalanine tRNA, then during protein synthesis, then during protein synthesis, the synthesis of protein the rate of protein synthesis will decrease due to the low amount of phenyl alanine tRNA. Okay. So during that condition, the transcriptional efficiency will decrease. So 
at that time we can use any other kind of codon for example u u u u c also code for phenyl due to the degeneracy due to the degeneracy of genetic code we can use u u c instead of u u u okay so like that we can able to modify we can able to modify a codon we can able to replace one codon with another codon to increase transcription efficiency that process is called codon usage bias so in order to increase the translation efficiency we can able to substitute we can able to replace one codon with another codon so that the rate of protection does will increase it's an it is a one example for codon optimization due to this technique we are using the term codon optimization for this process like that we can also improve the transcription and translation efficiency by 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 detecting gc content gc content we know that if the dna if the gene if the if you usually the genes are existing in the form of a double strand so if the gene contain more amount of gc pair gc pair shows that guanine and cytosine pair with by pair by using three hydrogen bond so if the gene of interest contain more gc pair then it is very difficult for the cell to unwind this gc bond than a t bond because gc bond provide more stability to dna so if 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 gc bond if the if the amount of gc content is very high within the gene of interest then the stability of dna will also increases that leads to the difficulty in unwinding the dna to produce messenger rna and then into protein so in order to identify that gc content we can use different kind of software and applications so second parameter is gc content so if if we reduce the gc content by using any other codon by replacing this gg gg usually called for glycine we can substitute this gg we can replace this gg with another codon which code for the same amino acid glycine we know that glycines are encoded by more than one codon so here we can substitute this here we can replace this ggg with any other codon which code for the same amino acid gg same amino acid glycine so gc content is also a parameter for increasing transcription and translation to detect the gc content this so that we can able to replace that gc we can able to minimize the gc content by replacing or substituting by replacing the codon with the say with the another codon coding for the same amino acid like that third parameter is called mrna structure if we analyze if we try to understand the detailed structure of mrna produced by the gene of interest we can able to increase the transcription and tra translation if mainly we can able to increase the translation efficiency of a particular protein within, within the cell how it will be possible let us try to study we know that mrna is a single stranded rna if the mrna contain if the mrna contain suppose this mrna contain u u u amino acid and this mrna contain a a a amino acid if these three these two sequences are present on this mrna then there will be a possibility of pairing between this u u u a a a that leads to the formation of a u stem mallow structure which ultimately decreases the rate of translation so if we trace if we trace out this type of complementary sequences on the mrna we can able to substitute this u u u which are coded for phenylalanine into u u c u u u also u u u code for phenylalanine u u c u u c also code for phenylalanine so there will be no 
change in the amino acid sequence but we can remove this loop if we if we replace uuu with uuc we can able to eliminate the chance of pairing between this uuu and the aaa when we replace uuu with uuc so by using this method by using this is this 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 technique is called codon usage bias so by using this technique we can able to eliminate the secondary structure thereby we can increase the translation efficiency for that purpose we are go, we are taking the mrna structure as the parameter for codon optimization technique like that some mrna and gene that is dna contain repeated sequence that is like that like this some sequence contain g g g g g g c c c c c c like that such kind of repeated sequence will decrease the transcription and translation efficiency that is why we are taking repeated sequences are also a parameter for codon optimization like that some dna contain continuous repeated sequence followed by its complementary sequence that one also decreases the rate of transcription and translation efficiency so when we take that parameter when we when we consider that parameter we can in we can able to we, we can may we can reach into a solution to eliminate that as a type of sequences thereby we can able to increase the transcription and translation efficiency of a gene of a particular gene within the cell like that avoid restriction site of enzyme suppose if our gene if the inserted gene contain any restriction site of a, if the if the gene contain any restriction site of a specific enzyme restriction enzyme that will lead to the cleavage of that specific gene when we after the insertion of that specific gene into the host cell into the foreign cell if we insert a specific gene into the foreign cell if that gene contain a restriction site of a specific enzyme within that host cell that leads to the cleavage of inserted gene which leads to the destruction which leads to the destruction of that inserted gene so in order to avoid we can we can replace we can change that restriction site by giving appropriate or by giving synonym nucleotide sequence like codon usage suppose if you imagine this is a gene and this gene contain g a a t t c it is a recognition sequence it is a recognition sequence of an echo r so if the inserted gene contain this type of sequence if we insert this gene into an e coli bacteria then the e coli bacteria will contain echo r1 so that echo r1 can able to clear this restriction site thereby this inserted gene get get disrupted so in order to avoid such kind of such action of restriction enzyme within the foreign cell we can replace any codon we can replace any codon or gene sequence without altering its future amino acid so that can be possible easily due to the degeneracy of genetic code so by by using by, by by detecting such kind of by detecting such kind of restriction enzyme recognition site we can say we can made a small changes over this kind of recognition sequence thereby we can able to avoid the action of restriction enzyme thereby we can increase transcription and translation efficiency like that we can eliminate we can determine we can detect the presence of non coding region that is called introns we know that mrna contain introns and exons and we know that introns is called intervening sequence okay that intron is a non coding sequence so we can able to we can able to find out intron non coding sequence thereby if the if the rna contain introns usually in eukaryotic organism after the mrna synthesis 
introns get replaces and exon get joined and form a mature RNA after capping and tailing. So during that process, if the eukaryotic cell lacks a splicing process, then the transcription will be very, very, very poor. The transcription is not possible. So we have to find out which, which one is called intron, which one is called exon, so that we can able to eliminate introns and we can join that exon through splicing process. So thereby we can increase the transcription and translation efficiency. So these are all the parameters which are used during codon optimization technique to improve the heterologous gene expression. Okay. Now, we know that codon optimization can be possible by selecting some more other criteria like promoter sequence of RNA, Scheindahl-Gernot sequence to Scheindahl-Gernot sequence. We know that Scheindahl-Gernot sequence is a specific sequence of RNA where ribosomal subunit recognize and assemble. Okay, like that we have important region on mRNA which cannot be avoided in order to increase translational efficiency of a particular gene. These are all the broad concepts regarding with codon optimization technique for increasing the expression or for increasing heterologous gene expression that is expression of a gene within the form cell.